Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, great to see you again. If you're new around here, welcome, lovely to meet you. Today I thought I would do another Tall Tales video. I did one of these a few weeks ago and it was very well received. Thank you everybody for your feedback on that. So I figured I would do the next one. This is coming back from a short hiatus just due to family stuff that's been going on. So I've taken a little break from content creations. This is the first time I've kind of done any content really in a few weeks. Might be a little bit rusty, but I'm really excited to get back into gaming and especially into Sea of Thieves because I've played it once in about three weeks now. So really excited to get stuck in. So let's jump straight in. My knowledge of this tall tale is basically zero. On my on the last outing of tall tales, I did actually have a little bit of understanding on how the tall tales worked um, and kind of the, some of the stuff that you needed to do, i.e. some of the puzzles and stuff like how to how best to solve those. But this one, I have literally never ever seen anything. I've not seen it. I've not seen it play. I've not, yeah, not seen anything about this tall tale whatsoever. Um, so. It's going to be interesting for me because it's going to be kind of completely fresh, a completely blind experience. However, the only thing is my mouse scroll wheel is broken. So I'm scrolling right now and my weapons aren't coming out and I also can't zoom in and out on the map. So there's going to be a little hindrance here. I, I know I like my additional challenges and stuff, but genuinely this isn't chosen. I haven't chosen to put myself under additional pressure this time um but we have kind of i haven't actually got use of my scroll wheel on my mouse so we'll see how that impacts it i'm hoping it doesn't but it's crossed the one major downside to not having a scroll wheel is that i actually have no idea where i'm going so um, i'm kind of guessing I, th I think plunder outpost is this island this one here um and i'm just hoping it's not sanctuary i think sanctuary and new golden sands are at the well i know this is new golden sands but i think sanctuary is this one so I'm hoping that it's Plunder Outpost um, that's, that's kind of to the south of us. However, the other major problem then is if this tall tale includes any kind of like specific locations, I'm going to have to rely entirely on memory because I can't scroll in. Unless I can find a spare mouse. Maybe I should do that. While we're sailing over, I'm going to go and find a spare mouse. We are also going straight into the wind here, so there's not a lot of speed kind of being gained to get over to the outpost but i did find a spare mouse so that brief interlude there not that you will notice that hopefully in my editing fingers crossed kind of was obvious but i have an additional mouse <laughs> a nice old little little mouse that at least could do the scrolling so and i was going to the right place which is really so always a good start <laughs> To our Tall Tales adventures. I haven't seen many players thankfully so far so there's not going to be a huge amount of interruption I'm hoping on our adventure but I'm not doing what I did last time which was buy like thousands of gold worth of extra supplies for my ship that I really didn't need. Uh, it was such a massive waste of money so I'm not going to do that again. I didn't use a single thing on my last voyage. I've literally just stepped foot on Plunder Outpost. I'm hoping that this is the right place that I've remember it, rem remembered it correctly. And that I can start the tall tale here. Here. So I think we speak to Madame Olivia? No. I can't remember exactly. The the Order of Souls woman. Madame Olivia. It is. It is Madame Olivia. So there we go. Vote for the tall tale. And let's see what happens now. I presume I have to speak to her. Ray, enter and take respite. I am Madame Olivia of the Order of Souls, and your arrival was foretold to me. As was your quest to seek out and destroy the abomination once known as Briggsy. <gasps> as you may know, the Order offers bounties for the skulls of those undead wretches that roam the Sea of Thieves. Yet even I am not permitted to send pirates in pursuit of a skeleton lord, for that would be sending them to oblivion. Yikes. In life, Briggsy was a flamboyant adventurer who thrived on danger and excitement. How could she not seek out the fabled shores of gold? But now, she has been consumed by evil's thrall and is a fearsome foe to all she encounters. And yet, if the whispers on the wind are true, you have already claimed I have, yes, I've already claimed the Shroud Breaker. I am a legendary pirate, thank you. Chance you might prevail. 
Oh, thanks. Very that fills well. me with confidence. These papers hold fragments of memories from those who pledge allegiance to the Skeleton Lord. If you can decipher their meanings, they may lead you to artifacts, relics of Briggsy's life. Bring all that you find to me, and I will shine a light into the darkness that awaits you. Go now. I must prepare the ritual ready for your return. None of this fills me with confidence, I have to say. It's, it, the whole thing is like, <laughs> no other pirate can do this, but you have to. It's like, right. Okay. Fine. Okay, so we have another book. Once again, I probably won't read it all. Mm, should I read it all? Yes, I will. This time. This time I will. Bounty Hunter. This book will guide you towards a pair of ancient relics belonging to Briggsy. Defeat those who protect those relics and bring them to me. Chronicles of Forgotten Lives, as crimes transcribed by Madame Olivia, private property of the Order of Souls. Within these pages, I shall be demonstrating how best to transcribe the memories we obtain from bounty schools as, is, uh, as an example of the Order's newest members. Remember, while the re recollections themselves may be confusing, it is vital that the information we divine from them is accurate. The Order of Souls thrives upon its reputation. Okay. Her treasures are buried and we have her key. We sail away to an island where it can hide safely. Where? Where do we hide it? Keep searching, keep looking. In the Northern Ancient Isles is a good place to keep it. Northern Ancient Isles. Okay. Let's start our sail. We're all about efficiency today. He says. I keep attempting to be an, um, an efficient pirate. Never quite works out that way, but I do try. The reason I'm reading the book at this time is because last time I said, oh, I'll, I'll you know, pause the video here so you can read it. Then I skipped through the book really quickly um, and my camera is blocking half the book. So all in all, pretty terrible from a view of a ship perspective. So I'm trying to be better this time. When I watched it back, I was like, hmm. Yeah, no, that's not ideal. If you, if you actually want to be able to read the book, not really helped you here. So I'm trying to help this time. Right, the Northern Ancient Isles, which is up this way, right? It's my other master scroll out. There we go. Oh no, that shores are plenty. Oh, no, we are in the ancient isles. Okay, I can't actually leave yet. Good where I'm going. All about the island we go, whereabouts to stay. Do we cower in a cave or stay up high out the way? We camp atop the centre isle, settle down to protect her key, but then chance bang, the living. Here for us. Ma oh, oops. Here for us, Mario will fight. I will die for her because she wishes it. Crack, my skull returns to wet sand. I'm wondering whether the drawings mean something. I'm guessing the drawings do mean something, but hang on. Is that Snake Island? I think that's Snake Island, right. Which, funnily enough, is where I was supposed to go last time and I didn't, and then I got lost. Um, on the last tall tale, so. Poetic that we end up going to the same island for this one. I don't know whether that's kind of standard or whether it's kind of different based on or different each, different each time or a little bit different each time. I really can't be dealing with this Rogan team if they're going to come to me. They are not actually flying reapers but they are flying I think that's the, the skull flag. I don't know. I'll be able to see it on the map. I'm not sure what they're doing. We've just made it to Snake Island. Um, the Brigantine is still kind of behind us, but I'm just going to hope it leaves me alone. It doesn't look like it's necessarily wanting to come for me, so I'm hoping. Right, so it said Middle Island. Camp atop the settle aisle, settle down to protect the key. So... Do I have to have read the rest of this as well? I hope not. I kind of just want to do it, go through it step by step if I can. Oh no, they are coming for us. Great. I'm not sure what they just did. It looked like they they crashed into the island. To be honest, it's difficult. Last time I did a tall tale, we had no problems with players. I was just able to crack on with things. Um, and focus on what's doing and the content I set out to do. This time I load in and I don't get to the first step and we start getting chased, in, ch uh, chased down by a brigantine. 
Oh, but my recording was just paused. But um, Captain Avery has just been defeated, apparently. So I think they've just defeated my captain on Snake Island. I don't know what this means for me, because d does that mean I still can continue with the, the tortail? Or... Because I haven't defeated the captain. Let's see what it says in my book now. Let me say anything. Oops. Maybe I do actually have to read the whole book to understand this one step. To be fair, that is what happened last time where I was supposed to have read the whole thing and I didn't. And I kind of I missed out on a lot of stuff that I should have done. Um, and then that's where I went wrong and went to the wrong island, etc. So maybe I do actually have to read this whole thing and then it will show me where the key is. Then what happens now? Because Captain Avery's been defeated. They're still here. They are. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I'm going to try and say something to them. Um, I'm trying to do a tall tale, but thanks. That's really helpful. Right, so I'm actually just going to quit, annoyingly, and start again because um, I don't really know... What happens here obviously the ship sunk which is fine but i didn't have anything like i didn't have any didn't have any of the loot from the tall tail but i i did lose the captain so i don't really know what this means for me so i'm gonna start again but i'm just gonna leave the game and hope that i end up in ponder outpost i may have got slightly salty at that team before but it's fine i was like guys please can i just do my tall tail in peace I thought there was an unspoken rule. In fact, actually, people even speak it. There's there's a rule. We're, we're all not supposed to mess with tall tailors. One day, I would absolutely love to be like a proper PvP demon where if I was faced in that situation where I've got kind of like a full brig with three people on it versus me, a solo, and I can take them down, that would be the dream. Because I have seen people do that. I think Fl Flotsam, 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 seen him kind of take on full teams Right, I'm going to set sail um, and I will see you back on Plunder Outpost to try again. Hopefully we don't have anyone chasing us down this time. <laughs> and we can just crack on with the tall tail. So, take two. We're at Plunder Outpost. Let's start with the tall tail again with Madame Olivia. This time I'm not going to I'm not gonna re-listen to all of the spiel because we've already listened to that once today. <laughs> we don't need to do it again. So, yeah, I'm just going to grab that and then we can make a start on... The next, on the tortel. Hopefully it's back at Snake Island because that's nice and close. Okay, there we go. Take two is underway. We're still going to get the spiel underneath, even though if we can't actually hear her. Which island is that? I don't know, big island or lay low on a little one. Camp on the little isle, settle down to protect the key, but then chance bang the living. Okay, so a lot of the... Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one this could be. A, a big and little one. Could it be Chicken Isle, I guess? Or Paradise Spring? We could try Paradise Spring. That's right ahead of us. So there's an island... ...with some rocks next to it. Could we, could we cut this K? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's try a process of elimination because it looks like each one is a different island. It's just real hard till we hear it grind in the sand. Gold tooth. Who likes bully poor Bill? Poor Bill bullied the way. Another old, another stoner old Bill. There's a lot about Bill here, isn't there? Maybe Blackheart Bill again one day. I'm so confused. God, the last the last one before we were getting hunted by that brig. I knew straight away what the island was. I've no idea what these are. That was quite like quite a big island. 
got a crook's hollow. It's quite big. It's got a couple of rocks off the front. Let's try Cro Crook's Hollow for that one. I'm not sure whether Paradise Spring is going to be the right one either. Because the first tall tale, it basically talks about like um, a big and little island. But it could be Paradise Spring or it could be Chicken Isle. Oh, actually, no, that could also... No, hang on. That could also be Crook's Hollow. The kind of schmear off to the left. And then the little island, or the big and little island, could be the bits that stick out the front. I think it is, you know. I think it's Crooks, Ho Crooks Hollow. Let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, I was quite determined and sure last time. And it definitely turned out to be the wrong island. But, you know, it's fine. We made we make mistakes along the way and it's all part of the journey. We're at Crooks Hollow now. Um, it's night time, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but <laughs> um, let's give it a go. We have got a ship on the horizon, but I'm hoping they'll leave us be. Let's make a start. So we're looking for, to start with, see if we can try and trace their steps. So they've come up to the island. Um... Walking in line like snake we be. Poor Bill be uh, bullied all the way. Then they look for a place to bury it. It looks to me like it is in this kind of like rocky area off to the side. I can't be certain. Having made it all the way here, um, I've dug up a few things and I'm not convinced that it's actually on this island. Um... I just suddenly thought to myself, I was like, actually, the first shroud, like the shroud breaker was on this island. So it wouldn't make sense for them to put the tortail on this island as well. But I don't know that that's overthinking it. So I'm going to go and try a different island. I think it's going to be somewhere like Chicken Isle. Um, Chicken Isle, Barnacle K or Paradise, Paradise Spring. I think it's Paradise Spring. One of those islands where there's kind of like where it's smallish, I think is what I'm looking for for the key. And I also need to make sure I have the key before I go and get the chest. So I think I need to I need to take a step back because I'm not convinced I'm on the right island. Um, and despite digging up loads of places before, it doesn't doesn't seem just doesn't seem right. I'm quite close to Barnacle K, so I might go there first. See, I think that looks like Box Hollow, to be honest, because of the like kind of slight curve shape. But I don't know. The place where I was digging just didn't didn't seem to yield any anything at all. So. Let's head... Oh, yeah. No, west side. Am I facing the right way? No, east. I need to go east. I've just literally just stepped foot on Barnacle K. I'm something a little bit more promising. I don't know who Stan is, but... Apparently I've found Stan's camp and he's not happy about it. Oh, here we go. I found your camp! Ah, uh, this is Captain Avery that I should have been able to, should have killed earlier in the, or when I kind of went to Snake Island on my last attempt. Oh god. Whoops. The only problem with doing the solo is you haven't got anyone to res you <laughs> when you inevitably die. Whoopsies. Wait, I can't hear the music. Oh, there it is. It's already. Try and get Avery down as quick as possible. I don't know how it will work, whether um, the others will die or whether they keep respawning. Because I've done other quests recently, or other tall tales. And the skeletons just keep coming back. Where have you gone, Avery? There he is. Oh, the skeletons haven't come back this time. So. <gasps> She'll punish you if you fail. Well, sadly for you, Avery, you're going to fail. Bye, Avery. <gasps> and we have the key! Huzzah. The rogue's key. But now I need to work out where whatever the key unlocks is. It really does look like Crook's Hollow to me. Honestly, it really does. 
Let's have a quick look on the map and see if there's anything else it could be. I mean, it looks to me like it's a big island, slightly shapely. I don't know, that's kind of it really. This is the biggest, biggest telltale signs. But let's have a quick look and see if there's anything else it could be. So you can see that I've done a bit of a wiggle. Took a wrong turn. Um, right. We Devil's Ridge. Devil's Ridge is big with it's like curve. But I'm pretty sure it's in the Ancient Isles. I don't know where the Devil's Ridge is. Oh, or Discovery Ridge. That's kind of the same. It's got the little islands. Because the thing that's making me think it's Crooks Hollow is the little islands that you can see poking out the front. Western. Oh, it says Western. Okay, so yeah, it's probably Discovery Ridge then. Western Ancient Isles. We look for an island to keep it. Okay. Right, let's go to Discovery Ridge. I think that's where it is. So we need to go west, basically. So we have made it to Discovery Ridge. I now just need to work out where on earth um, the skeleton chest is going to be. It looks like there's kind of a little ship on some rocks. Walking it in line like snake we, we be. Poor Bill bu bu bullied all the way. Let's let's shoot ourselves over in the cannon and see see what happens. Oh, the mermaid skeleton. Uh, mermaid statue. Nice little discovery. On Discovery Ridge. Right, I'm gonna try it on this far island over here because it doesn't. It just doesn't. In the book, it looked kind of like they are going to the smaller bit. I think. One thing is for certain, it looks on the first image where they get off that there is this beach and there's like a little ship or like a, something on the rocks there. It looks like kind of two ships like next to each other. So if I can get to a beachy area and look for some ships next to each other, that's probably the best bet. I've done a full map of uh, full lap of the island, but I can now hear Molly and Goldtooth. So maybe they're up there. He only had little hands. Oh, poor Goldtooth! There was lots to steal, and I only had little hands. I know that feeling. Let's go and see Molly and Captain or oh, Gold, whatever his name was. Gold little hands. Bless him. I think they're probably over this way because I could hear them once I swam around the island, but I couldn't see them. Unless they're in a cave or something, which is entirely possible. Oh no, Captain Blake. I don't remember Ca Captain Blake being part of the dialogue, but I guess they were. You're a jolly lass, aren't you? There you go, Captain Blake has been defeated. Captain Blake didn't drop me anything. Excuse me, Blake. Okay, well, I guess we have to go and find where the chest is buried now, then. Somebody got pushed off over here, I think, potentially. Part of the drawing, somebody's being, like, pushed off the mountain top. I did see water. I did. I said earlier I, about waterfall. Maybe this is the little waterfall, because it definitely wasn't the one lower down. Like, there. It looks like there's a little bit of water. Waterfall. Where do I find where to dig up this chest then? Would it be here? Would it just be like where they were chilling? Aha, it is, I think. Yes, skeleton chest. I think it is this. I'm trying to massively overcomplicate it for myself. <laughs> okay, right, let's take this back to the ship. We've got the key and we've got the chest, two of the main components that we needed for this particular tall tale, which is very, very good. Good progress. Let's just hope we can actually land in the water and get out here. Yes. Well done. Well done, me. Okay, let's see what this let's see what's in inside this delightful chest. Dun dun dun! Return to Madame Olivia at Plunder Outpost. <gasps> We've got Briggsy's star map. Pretty. And we've got Briggsy's broken spyglass. Interesting. 
Okay. I'm guessing this is kind of the end of the, the tall tale here because we've got to go and see Madame Olivia at Pl Plunder Outpost. Um, so I'm guessing we turn it in and then we, we then go on to the next tall tale. Maybe. I'm not sure though. I wasn't sure on the last one and it did turn out that there was actually the end of the tall tale so we'll see. <laughs> it's a bit challenging though. I found the island thing really difficult. <laughs> I was like, there's not there's not a lot of detail to go off. There's not a lot. It's it's kind of it's a lot of hints and some very, very, very vague pictures. And I did go to the wrong island again. But I think with this one, I'd like to think anyway that it's kind of excusable because I think it's supposed to be quite vague and challenging. Either that or I'm very stupid. Which is entirely possible. <laughs> but let's see. I mean I could get to Olivia and she could give me, you know, more steps, but we'll We'll see how we go. And we've made it. Looks like we made it. It's a plunder outpost. So let's go and turn this into Madame Olivia and see what happens. I, I'm not sure whether this is actually going to be the end of the full tale here, but we shall see. I mean, we, we should at least get the kind of next steps kind of thing. Um, she might talk us through kind of the rest of the story, which would be quite, quite interesting. Let's see what she's got to say for herself for sending it us on this wild journey. There apparently no other pirates can do, but I'm supposed to, so. Right, here we go. Give Briggs his star map, give Briggs his broken sky spyglass, and give over the skeleton chest. Are those Briggs these precious Wait, treasures? <laughs> Let me see. Ah, the tools of an adventurer. I spend so much of my time surrounded by bones. It is sometimes easy to forget that they were once people, too. True. Tell no one what you are about to witness. There are some secrets that even we, the Order of Souls, are forbidden to share. Oh, I'm a bit nervous now. By recall's light and wisdom's might, the past shall point towards the future. Behold the true power of the Order of Souls. There are few left with the knowledge to create an artifact with such potential. I've kind of forgotten why Briggsy was so special. They were chasing power or something, I think. <gasps> oh, waste of potion. And jars. Ooh. With the order's magic. This compass will point the way to Brixen, no matter where upon the Sea of Thieves she may be lurking. Once again, I implore you to be cautious. Death has only made her more formidable. Hunting the cursed rogue. Okay. So we have a compass now as well then. I was right, this wasn't the end. I did think it wouldn't be. I don't really know what we're hunting here. I'm sure it's going to be something good, but I genuinely don't know what it is. I just don't know what I'm going to find when I get to this point. Maybe we'll find Bill. Blackheart Bill. Will it kind of just start wiggling when it's, when it's done? Who knows? Here we are, we're at Plunder Valley. I think it's going to be this island. It looks like the kind of mystical stuff on the top of the compass is kind of a little bit more glowing a bit more glowy i would have thought that the compass kind of would have wiggled more or something oh i'm being shot would have wiggled more or something like it, it often does when you're using a compass in this game um to get to kind of a particular point but it did look like it was looking a bit more mystical actually i'm pointing straight ahead and i look this way past plunder valley Let's just fix the ship and then we'll go down and we'll go it. We'll jump over and see. Okay, I don't think it's on this island. No. Oh, wait, what's that? That red thing in the ocean. Wait, why is there an ashen guardian here? I'm sure there's not supposed to be ashen guardians in this random island. They'd normally be on kind of the more ashy islands. It still seems to think that it's 
off that way. I don't I don't think it's on this island. I'm I'm not convinced. This way. Which way is it? Further to the west, it seems. Maybe it actually will be on Discovery Ridge where we were earlier. Or Mermaid's Hideaway? Okay, this is looking very positive. It's not seeming to point anywhere else, I hope. So let's, uh, let's hop onto the island and see what happens. I'll just take some food quickly, just in case. You never know, you can't be too safe. I've only got any food left. The skeleton captain music. Interestingly. I've got my mermaid stick and I'm not afraid to use it. Fire. It's Briggsy! Soon there'll be more than just words. Very sure. Oh, to have flesh once more. I'll be able to smell the sea air. Feel the wind of coins in my palm. Briggsy, Kraken Slayer, Shroud Breaker, and Adventure Extraordinaire. That does sound like you, Briggsy, but where are you? It's that damned curse. <gasps> She's cursed. Even my old shit makes me think I'm dead or that I'm some sort of monster. Maybe I am. Once I it, everyone will know my name again. I'm armed with a mermaid stick and some... Oh, there she is. There she is. I found her. So just attack her. Ooh. Oh gosh, she's very beaky. Oh my goodness. Oh god, this is gonna be like a boss, proper boss. Oh my goodness. A boss fight. And it is. I don't want to stand still and die. You can't make me. Where is she? Where's she gone? Does she do that digging thing? Like, oh, she does. She does. Cursed. Back on a skeleton fort. Stay I wonder how hard she is to actually fight. Wait! Oh! I guess not very! <laughs> uh, right, well. I was expecting that to be a little bit more difficult. Thanks for your skull, Briggsy. Sorry, mate. No, you just wanted, you know, fame and glory. Delightful lady, but uh let's take of It is very beaky, it's got very very long point. She's got a an interesting mask on. Is it still pointing at something? I'm not sure what it's pointing at. I guess we just keep following it. But it did tell me to return to Madame Olivia, so I'm guessing that this this compass is just pointing me to Madame Olivia at a plunder outpost. Let's go and give Madame Olivia Briggsy's skull. Hopefully there won't be another major cutscene. I've also um, crashed my ship, so if there is a major cutscene, then my ship is sinking. The skull of a skeleton lord. Oh, I have waited years for this moment. So few people stop to wonder what the Order of Souls does with the bounties once we have them. Each skull holds many secrets. Memories of old hordes and old encounters long forgotten. If Briggsy truly did possess the Shroudbreaker, the missing pieces should lie somewhere within her recollection. Oh my god, I sense a large cutscene. Such visions are not always easy to interpret. I'm sensing a very big cutscene. She's smoking a pipe, getting all weird, ready to interpret something. It's not quite as atmospheric this time because there isn't thunder going on outside like it was last time we visited her. Or when we first arrived, I can't remember when it was, but there was like thunder and a storm going on outside, which made it very atmospheric. Not quite so much as... She throws everything on the floor. There are many memories to sift through, but I can make out a few names. Tasha, a girl in a tavern, staring in awe as the firelight flickers and great tales are told. Suds, a dear friend oh, who threads suds. his way across the wildest oceans by the light of the stars. Salty, trembling before a blade, revealing the lair of a trickster. Wild Rose, 
True love shining like a beacon that calls across the waves. Fate has bound you to meet with these wanderers, wow. for they alone know of the precious stones you seek. I can offer you nothing more than my gratitude and faith that you have the strength to reach the shores of gold. It's really not lucrative, Farewell. this whole Tall Tales business, is it? Well, interesting. Okay, that um, I enjoyed that, I have to say, I enjoyed that less than the previous Tall Tale. I didn't think it was as engaging, um, but still very good. And it's obviously setting out a lot of stuff for the rest of the, the Tall Tales storyline. So, oh, I got a Strixie's sword, though. Oh. Well, maybe it is a lucrative business. We get unlockables. It wasn't. It wasn't too difficult. I did struggle finding the lo the islands a little bit, but um, only a couple of wrong turns. Not too bad. It's taking us like two and a two hours, two and a half hours. It probably shouldn't take that long, but um, I was doing other bits and pieces in between whilst I was sailing over because there's a lot of sailing in these these things. Literally sailing to and from the middle of the map to the edge of the map. To the middle of the map. To the edge of the map. So, uh, understandably, that took a while. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to do what the pets say and to like and subscribe on YouTube and to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash emmalilico. That's E-M-M-A-L-I-L-I-C-O. Hopefully see you again in the next one. I publish videos every Tuesday, so don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications. Thanks.